Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got another racing by card for you. This is an interactive card, which means the car will actually slide. Now see how that paper there bent? Um, I, we're gonna thicken this up, this, um, this piece right here, because after I put it in, I realized we need to double up that cardstock. So we're gonna do that. But this card has lots of steps. I think we'll, we'll make everything and then we'll put it all together. Um, let's start with our background. We are going to get a piece of watercolor paper. I've cut to four by five and a fourth, and I am going to watercolor it with smoky slate and uh, basic gray. These two colors are going to help us create kind of a smoky background. Now I'm going to take some water and just brush it all over my paper and then I'm going to get some water. I have I squeezed the inks so that they are on the lid there and then I'm going to get these and just kind of drop color into the water. We want it just to be kind of messy like you know like it would be smoky down in the pit of a racetrack. Okay now I'm gonna take my salt. I'm gonna take some kosher salt and I'm gonna sprinkle that on. It's gonna create some texture there um, in the card. Now, for the sake of the video, I already did it, but I didn't do enough color. So I think maybe I wanna add a little bit more here. So I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna add some more color on here. And you really do need a bunch of salt to get that, that uh, I mean, a bunch of water to get that salt to really work. All right, let's put that on here and hopefully it will dry a little bit better. All right, let's move these out of the way. I need to dry those, so I don't wanna close them up completely. And let's create our other pieces. First thing we'll do is stamp our car. Now I am stamping the car and coloring it with um, stamp and blends. If you look at the set, you have these two other options you can use, but I wanted to stamp it um, and color it with stamp and blends. My stamp was on the other tray. Now I've got it and let's go. All right, stamp that in Memento Black. I've got the tires here and I'm gonna stamp them right in the middle. And then we've got the little race car driver as well. And we'll stamp him right there. All right, now if you didn't want to color, you can just stamp one of those patterns on. But you guys know I love the color. So I'm gonna start with pumpkin pie light. And I'm going to go all the way around, giving it a full coating of color. I'm using the brush tip in here. Um, because I've got such a large space to cover, the brush tip in is perfect for this. All right, now let's come back in with our dark. And we're gonna add in some shadows along the bottom and kind of here up along the tire. All right, and then we'll take our, our light pumpkin pie and pull that color towards the front. I want the top to be the lightest. So I'm gonna build color back here and leave that front pretty light. All right, I think that's pretty good. Got a little spot right there. Now, unfortunately, there are no dies for this stamp set. So we're gonna to have to use our paper snips. So go around, cut off all that extra cardstock. All right, and then just go in and just kind of go around the edge of your uh, image, staying on the outside, leaving a white border. Whoops, I got a little bit close there. Um, when you do this, it's going to kind of camouflage your uh, cutting that way. You know, if, if you're like me and your cut, cutting isn't perfect, it'll be camouflaged because the eye will only see that straight black line that is stamped there. Now the steering wheel is a little bit tricky, so I just decided to just go around it like this 
and then cut that middle piece out like that and just leave it like that. All right, so there we go. Now we need some flames. We also, before I am done, let's stamp two flags and we'll quickly cut those out. Again, with your paper snips, these are a little bit easier to cut out. When you cut away that extra cardstock, it makes it easier for you to turn your paper. There we go. All right, now for the flames. Did you guys see the flames back there? I have cut out two basic white flames. These are from the Burger Bistro dies, new bundle in our catalog. And we are going to add some yellow and orange to make them look like uh, flames. So the first one I'm going to start with is Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to go all over it first with the Daffodil Delight. Okay. And then I'm going to come back with my pumpkin pie. And with the pumpkin pie, you only want to do the top edges, the top parts of the flame. So just kind of stay on the top of it. Okay. And then last but not least, let's flick some color onto these. I'm going to use Cajun, dark Cajun craze and just kind of flick some of that on our flames. Those are awesome, aren't they? Okay, now we need to make a little mechanism for our slider. The first thing I've got here are two three quarter inch pieces of basic black, three quarter inch by five and a half, and I'm gonna glue them together. This is gonna uh, thicken that piece that I told you kind of bends. Um, that will help prevent that. All right, now you've got a two and a half by uh, five and a half inch piece of basic black. You want to score it at one and two. And we're going to just kind of make a little tunnel for our, our pool, our slider. All right, I think I'll use tear and tape for this. And we'll put tear and tape along here. Oh, almost spilt my Diet Coke. That would not be good. All right, fold that over. Now let's make sure that this fits in here. Mm, it's a little bit thick, so let's trim it down just a bit. You want it to be just a little bit na more narrow than your tunnel. All right, now let's try it. There we go. All right, I am gonna take a little piece of our gingham ribbon and we're going to make a pull on the end of this because we need this to tuck all the way in in order for it to fit in our card so i'm going to take that and put it right there and then we're going to staple it two times all right and see now we've got that sliding in like that all right okay now we're gonna use magnets and you're gonna need four magnets. And I've got these button magnets. I'll have them um, linked on my blog. Um, you're gonna take two, a stack of two, and get two glue dots. I find that you need two glue dots on each side of your magnets. All right, we're gonna put one there. Now, again, this is a stack of two magnets that I have. And take one more and put it right there. All right, now we'll, we'll put the glue dots on the other side here in a minute. I have um, a piece of designer series paper, and we're just gonna cut this from the top right, ink, uh, top right corner over down to about an inch. All right, so let's come in about an inch like that. All right, and that, that piece is gonna go up the edge. So we're gonna stick this, let's take some adhesive 
and we want this right along the edge here. And I'm gonna put it just a little bit behind like that so that it's not showing. And we're gonna have to trim that. You wanna trim the inside piece too. And then this one is sticking out a little bit, so I'm gonna just trim that off. And we'll stick this back in like that. Whoops, nope, we gotta go this way. Okay, now I've got a piece of basic gray and we're gonna put that right across there, okay? I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. I need to clean it actually. Let's clean it before we use it. And I'm gonna stamp that right down there on the bottom. Okay, memento black. I'm gonna put this on here at an angle as well. Okay, and we're gonna trim it off too to match that edge. Now right here, we don't wanna we don't want to trim off our little pull, so let's pull that out. Put this back in. All right, so now we're gonna put the magnets on this card right here, okay? And we're, we'll separate them and it will pull through this layer of cardstock. So we've got two magnets stacked on each spot. Take two glue dots for each magnet, whoops. Lost my glue dots right there. Okay, two more glue dots right there. And, oh, glue dots stick where it's supposed to, please. And we're gonna stick those magnets down right there. All right, so now we'll pull it off, slide that in and Find the magnets, there they are. And now you can pull your car. How cute is that? Okay, now on the back edge here, I think I'll use tear and tape just because I have a little bit better control um, on the back of this. We're gonna put some tear and tape right here. And we're gonna stick these flames back there. All right, let's get it that one a little bit higher. There we go. He's gonna ride through those flames. Okay, now we're gonna put adhesive here and we'll put some, uh, do I have, yep, foam adhesive sheet would be really good right here. May need to break it up a little bit. Let's put a piece right there and a smaller piece. Well, I didn't make it small enough, did I? <laughs> no, sir, do not do that. We'll put that one right there. All right, let's see if our watercolor paper is dry. All right, I'm going to brush off that salt. You can see how it leaves those little um, texture marks like that. And then I'm going to take my basic black stamp and blend and add even more interest by flicking ink onto it. All right, we are ready to put this card together. I have a basic black card base and we're going to put this on here with a lot of adhesive. Okay, and now remember we've got this piece all ready to go. We're gonna line it up down here at the bottom like that. Let's test it out. There we go, nice. Let's put on our little flags. I'm gonna do one like that. And then the other one's gonna have a dimensional like that. And we'll add a twine bow. If I didn't get rid of my twine, well, I think I got rid of my twine. I don't see it here. All right, well, we'll leave the twine off of this one. There you go, a very fun card, interactive card.
that would make such a fun treat for anybody. All right, you guys, make sure you check out the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There are three Racing by Projects and two other videos. And let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye.